When you need help, when you're out of options, and you need your voice heard, better call for. Even in Ohio in 2022, we thought there were about 10,000 flooded vehicles on the road there. So mm-hmm. it's they're not as uncommon an occurrence as you might think. Thousands of cars are damaged by floodwaters every year, but don't assume all those vehicles end up in a junkyard. Some may end up in the used car market. I spoke with a used car expert about the potential problems they pose for unknowing buyers like you in tonight's Better Call 4. From California to the Gulf Coast, Heavy rains like we've already seen this spring and strong hurricanes can do a lot of damage to homes, businesses and personal property like vehicles. You know, you get storms like Ian, which was a very high water surge down in Florida, um, and these cars wind up all over the country. Patrick Olson with Carfax says in the wake of Hurricane Ian in 2022, widespread flooding damaged as many as 358,000 vehicles. That's in addition to the 400,000 water damaged cars already on the road before the storm even made landfall. And about 10,000 of them are estimated to be on roadways here in Ohio, the 11th most in the nation, a 26% increase from the year before. Particularly in Ohio, you may think there's not a hurricane within hundreds of miles of us. But what happens, a lot of unscrupulous uh, resellers will get a car from Houston or the Gulf area or the East Coast, and they will fix it up and they'll take it to places like Ohio and try to put it off on buyers there. And the car may look okay at first glance, but Olson says there could be bigger problems with a previously flooded car. It is literally rotting from the inside out. So it can mess up your electrical system. It can mess up the engine making it a safety issue. If you're in the market for a new used car, Olson says there are telltale signs of water damaged vehicles. First, take a deep breath. Do you notice a musty odor? You know, sometimes if you notice that the seller is using a lot of air fresheners all over the car, that could be a tell. Look for damp or loose upholstery or carpets. Sometimes it's stained or maybe it doesn't quite match the rest of the carpeting in the car. Look for rust around the doors or inside the hood and trunk latches. Check the glove box for mud or silt and take a closer look at the headlights. Is there moisture or fog inside of those lights? That's often a good sign as well. Finally, get a thorough inspection from an independent mechanic. They can put it on a lift. They'll get a view that you'll never get, right? And it's just another way to to backstop your purchase. Now, if the car was insured when it was damaged and salvaged, the title should show that it was a previously flooded vehicle. But if it was not, it can easily be cleaned up and resold without that disclosure. And unfortunately, Olson says there isn't a lot of recourse for you as the new owner. You can file a complaint with the state attorney general, but it's difficult to determine if anything can be done. So it's much better to do your due diligence up front. Now, remember, if you need help or you feel like you weren't being heard, you better call for at 614-212-4444. You can also visit our website, nbc4i.com slash bettercall4 and tune in every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 545 to watch Better Call 4.